want to choose domain laser welder for science fabrication, now we're going to show you how to set, uh, set up this machine and how to operate. Okay, first you will see the whole system like this. This is the welder, this is the table, uh, the foot pedal, uh, the monitor, the CCD, and the, the laser head, uh, the illumination, and this is the uh, operation panel in emergency stop and case switch and the water chiller. Uh, another version of water chiller like this of better quality and uh, higher cooling capacity. Let's start. First of all, we connect the air switch and then we turn the case switch. Oh, sorry. Okay, first of all, we need to turn on the water chiller for one or two minutes until the water temperature reaches the target uh, value you set. Normally, we set 25 degrees. And in uh, autumn and in spring, or 30 degrees in summer. Okay, then we turn the laser power on. This is the working page. Then you need to press this button and wait for the charging to finish. Waiting. Let's see how to connect the water and the, uh, the power supply. Well, as you see, there are two water pipes. One come in and uh, one inlet and one outlet. They have to connect it with the water chiller so that uh, the water forms a circulation. Uh, if the water chiller uh, if water comes out from this pipe, then it should connect with the inlet of the laser. Uh, and the, another pipe should be connected with the output of the laser, the water, ch water chip. Uh, the um, power supply for the chiller, and this is the power supply for the laser. It's 220 volts. We didn't connect the, the uh, grounding wire, but uh, we suggested to, to do that when you working. Okay. okay, now the charging has already finished, so it is ready to work. Um, okay. You will see a red crosshair on the monitor and you put your own material towards the locating pin and try to pull it towards your body and give some pressure on the material so that uh, the side the side uh, the side coil and the front piece the, the front um, plate can be can touch each other very firmly. Okay, now like this. Now you can see the line to be welded is overlapped with the uh, red crosshair. Okay, the position is ready. Now we make sure the parameter setting is correct. As you can see, this is 1 mm stainless steel, so I would suggest parameter setting like this 80 amber frequency at 20 and the pulse width at 2.0 hertz um, sorry ms um, the current it always it always deci uh, decided by the uh, thickness of the material if the thickness is uh, bigger than 1 mm, then you set, you may set uh, like 90 or 95 or even 100. The frequency decides the speed of the laser shooting. Um, it means 20 spots can be generated within one second. 
so it decides the speed. Then the pulse width decides the. It it means how long a single spot stay on the material. So if the material is thicker, you need to set it uh, higher. But normally we set it at uh, two. Sometimes for galvanized uh, sheet we set three or four. Okay, let's let's go back to the table. Okay, now I show you how to. Okay, one more thing is that there is a you can adjust the position of the uh, seam you're going to weld. See, when I pull. What I need is like this, perfectly match. Okay, now here we go. For stainless steel, we don't have to weld the full line. We just pick a few important spots or corner to form the whole structure of your letters or signs. If you think this is too slow, when you are more professional, then you can set the frequency higher. Wait a minute. Okay, now I set frequency at 40. I'll try to compare. Okay, for some letters like this, with a high wall, when you put your letter in front of the locating rod, when laser comes from up, from up, from the top, it will probably blocked by the wall. So in this situation, we will turn the letter a little bit so that the laser can go into straight into the corner, like this. I try again. If this not working because of the blocking of the wall, you turn the to this angle so that laser shoot onto the material. Normally, the surface won't get burned or yellow or brown dots on the surface. If you find, if you find some uh, burnt spot like this, like this, then it means you uh, set the, um, the current too much higher or the pulse width a little bit higher. Okay, this is more clear. Okay. Okay. 